Now let's move on to the first section inside the main block. Select the section on the tree panel and go to the properties panel. Go to the background section for color, select white. Now move on to the first child div element. This will be our container section for this section. We've already got a defined class style for containers. To apply a class style, first select the div from the tree panel. Go to the properties panel. Click on the drop down arrow beside where it's written in line. This will show all the class styles that we've already created. Now click on container and the classes from this style will be applied. Besides this class style, we also need to add padding to this block. However, let's do that in line so that our container style doesn't receive those changes. Go to the properties panel, click on inline. Now go to the margin and padding section. For padding top and padding bottom, select 20. Now let's work on another div inside. This div will have the layout where contents will be divided into parts. So let's apply flex properties to this div. Select the div element. Go to the properties panel. Go to the display section. For display, select flex. Go to the flex container section. For wrap, select wrap. For the align items, select center. We're going to use this on multiple blocks, so let's create another class style for this one as well. On the properties panel, click on the pencil icon where it's written inline. It will change to an input field and I'm going to enter row. As a concept, this row will have different columns. We'll work on that next. Select the first div element inside the row block. Go to the properties panel. In the dimensions section, for width, select full. Now go to the margin and padding section. Click on the equal item on the center. Now select four for any padding. Again, let's create a style for these classes as this will be reused for other blocks as well. On the properties panel, click on the create a new style icon. It should change into an input field. Enter column. This is just a base for the column layout. So let's add more classes to our current element. Switch to inline classes on the properties panel. Click on large on the breakpoint tabs. In the dimensions section for width, select five over 12. Now select the next div block and apply similar classes. Go to the Properties panel, click on the Class Style selector. On the pop-up, select Column. Switch to Inline Classes. On the Breakpoint tabs, select Large. In the Dimensions section, for Width, select 7 over 12. When you're done, select All on the Breakpoints tab. You can now see our layout is starting to look good. One thing I want to change is that on small screens, I want the image block to come first and the text content second. First, let's set the order for the small screen. Select the first column div. Go to the properties panel. Class style should not be used in this case, so select inline. In the flex child section, for order, select last. Select the second column div. Go to the properties panel. The class styles again shouldn't be used, so select inline. In the flex child section, for order, select first. Now let's fix the position for larger screens. On the breakpoints tab, large should be selected. In the flex child section, for order, select last. Again, select the first column element. For the flex child section, for order, select first. When you're done, select all on the breakpoints tab. Now let's work on the main contents inside. Select the H1 element. 
go to the Properties panel. In the Text section, for Size, select 5XL. For Line Height, select Tight. For Color, select Gray 800. For Weight, select Semi-Bold. For Transform, select Capitalize. Now go to the Margin and Padding section. For Margin Bottom, select 4. Next, select the P element. Go to the Properties panel. In the Margin and Padding section, for Margin Bottom, select 4. Now go to the Link element. For this link, we've already created a class style called Button. Select the Link element. Go to the Properties panel. Click on the Class Style selector. And on the pop-up, select Button. We're done with this link. Next, select the image on the other div. In the Properties panel, go to the Dimension section. For Width, select Full. Now we're done with the hero section on our page.